Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of But It's Free. My name's Chris Kenner, we've got Karma here today. Hey! And we are looking at Warframe. This is, this is beautiful. Yeah, we're like jumping on the Warframe bagging wagon, wagon it seems. Yeah. Like literally everybody has just started talking about this game again, even though it was like made... Who know how long ago was this? Uh, it was, it's a number of years, but it, yeah. it's it's had updates since then. It's ever growing, and it's completely free. Like there are paid features that you can pay for, but I you, you, I can't even find them. <laughs> yeah, they're in there. Um, there. There is something that is mentioned. It's not like you need these to in, you need them to enjoy the game, mm. but you can have them to make the game a little better. Yeah, but it's not like it's pay to win. So we've let this one go past our slight rule of uh, no games that you have to pay to play. So I'm just looking through my equipment. Look, there's a really, really wide range of things that you can equip and use. Uh, some of which are whatever mastery locked means and some of which uh, you can use paid currency for. So th th those things are there, but all of them that I've been able to find are possible to craft in this foundry it's just finding the actual ingredients to make them I mean I think the thing I'm most excited about is seeing the different warframes that you can uh, use which are your um, your sort of robotic exoskeleton yeah in this you are basically a robot ninja and like it does a very good job of making you feel that way let's pick up some of the cooler looking ones so you've got frames like frost there um, where's another good looking one? Oh, there's Mirage. I was quite fond of that one myself. Yeah, here we go. This, this, this one's cool. And each one plays slightly differently in what it does. You got Inaros. This one commands oh, what, sand. What was the name of that one I was uh, also interested in? Octavia. Octavia, that's here one. we go. Look at Octavia. Oh, jeez. I that really. On its spin. I'm in love with this character. It is pink and it is glowy and it reminds me of um, DJ Sona. Yes, from League of Legends, which we will cover at some point. Yeah, eventually, but I, it might not be with me because I don't know anything about League of Legends. Yeah. So, but uh, this, like, like we said, this game is completely free on PC and on PlayStation Four. So you can uh, you can play this on console if you would prefer, and the controls will work equally as well. I find. <laughs> Have you noticed that in the corner of the screen? Oh, it just disappeared. Hmm? It just said uh, you've been playing for over an hour. Take a break. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, that's not how we do things here. Breaks are for noobs. <laughs> Well, this is this is the thing about this game. So, um, you'll when you get in, you'll have some initial missions, but then you'll get to this screen, which is basically your mission or level select, and you can set how you want matchmaking to work. So you can set it to public, and you will just get random people joining you, um, which works just fine because there's no way for them to really screw you over. You can have friends only, invite only, or solo. Um, I've got it set to friends only at the moment. Let's actually get into a mission rather than make you guys like, wait. It looks like you get a lot of places to go um, take a look at. Can you visit all of the planets there? Or yeah, just... like all of these are visitable locations, even something over here called the Void. If I go in there... Oh, wow, there's yeah. so many different levels as well. Like, Yeah, and they, they, they can vary in size from quite small arenas where you are constantly assailed to um, quite large sprawling places like I, I i played this one earlier to test out and remember the controls it's almost like uh, no man's sky but actually interesting <laughs> yeah I, I i don't have a lot of love for that game right now yeah i i do but it's my sort of game i'm that sort of person yeah but this, this is a nice touch you can move your ship around in uh, the this sort of little loading screen it would have been kind of cute if there was a bit of a game to that, like you had to sort of dodge some obstacles or something, like an actual loading game, like, you know, how like everybody wants. Mm. So many people are like asking for loading games again, and uh, it is actually allowed, it's not something that the copyright that was put in place uh, didn't hold up, mm. so you know game developers put those back into the games. It just means extra work, though. Yeah, it's one of those things that, like, sometimes people just do get lazy. So, what have I got to do? Eliminate all enemies. Um, I've I was just wade in and beat up. Sorry. 
Yeah, no swearing, you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am extremely tired, people. And now it's about, what, like two in the morning-ish? Something the, like the that? The next day. Yeah. Yeah, so I haven't actually slept at all in possibly... In, in almost 24 hours. Yeah, like, but... Ca 22 ca hours? Karma's lack of sleep aside, this is what the actual gameplay looks like. Yeah, it's really pretty. Like, I'm, I'm relatively impressed. I mean, the, the little arenas are quite small, but... Um, I don't know, like, so some, some, of the levels, some of the levels are really sprawling, but the, they vary, there's variety. If you want an, an enclosed arena, that's something that's around. If you want, like, a massive open area, there are levels that are like that. And there's, you can, you, you are sort of free to play the game your way to a certain extent. I mean, I'm, I've just picked this mission because it's basically a mission to exterminate everything. And there's a... Get, get <laughs> off that little thing! It's adorable. Did I get it? Is it gone? I think you got it. It was just rolling around. No, no, you haven't got it. There we go. Okay. But it was just rolling around my screen. I was like, no. Yeah, but that is some the common complaint about this. Is there's a lot going on on your screen. And you actually aren't given a lot of screen to play with. Because your character takes up a good sort of quarter of the screen. Yeah. So that's kind of an interesting choice to make your character so big on the screen like that. Yeah, but your, your character's physical position can be very important with the close combat. I can see why they've made that yeah, decision. Yeah, but... I don't know, I'm walking it, this it's, way. It's a bit of an unusual choice. You don't often see this, but... Um, yeah, let me... Uh, is there an opportunity? Yes, there is here, because it's a big open space. Watch this sort of movement that you can have. Like, all this sort of jumping all over the place. I feel like a parkour segment would be amazing. Yeah, like you can slide and then jump, which gets you into this mode, but then you can aim and it actually makes you glide. And it everything feels so smooth. And despite what I just did there, um, once you spend the very small amount of time it takes to get used to it, you can get to grips with moving around and go exactly where you want. Ooh, there's a control console. Yeah, this is um, it is a very fluid, very well animated game, to say the least. Yeah, and there's a there's a variety of ways in which it plays. Like, um, you can play stealthily. I, I was playing with a player literally earlier, that, who uh, was playing stealthily and had a big bow and arrow rather than the machine gun that I'm using now. And if I swap my weapons, I can get what are literally kunai, like little ninja throwing knives. What's this? Yeah, I looted something. I don't even know what it was. Ruby, Rubido? Rubido. Because everything has to have weird names when you have a sci-fi setting. Yeah, I mean, that's that's how that works. Okay. <laughs> it, is that not how everyone does it? That's pretty much the naming conventions in Star Trek. Yeah. Like, everything has its name. It's like everything has the same name, but has an alien word in front of it. Mm. A Tarkanian flu and... I think. I, I don't know. I'm really tired and I can't remember all of the Star Trek stuff and I'm a huge Trekkie. Yeah. Uh, there's like literally only, like, I've not watched the most recent one, so... Yeah, we need to get on and watch Discovery. Let no, me can slide no we don't. Under I want to watch it. I don't want to watch it. It feels bad. <laughs> I feel dirty thinking about it. <laughs> What, they, what did they do to the Klingons in that? Seriously, it's just they no, blinkified no, them. No, no weird. one ever likes what people do with the Klingons. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> that thing's got a brain for a face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like so, some of the enemies look really, really weird. If, if you have played No Man's Sky, there is actually a, a race that is pretty much just the Korvax um, in this. Ooh. It's just it's just that bit I'm <laughs> struggling with. I, I'm it, This never normally happens, I swear. I'm giggly because I'm tired. I'm not high, I swear to God. <laughs> no, this is this is normal. <laughs> uh, well, now it wants me to go that way. Make your mind up, game. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's a variety of missions that you can pull off in this that do various things. Why am I here now? Oh, I need to do this thing. <laughs> Try and keep a clear train of thought. <laughs> oh, these get really difficult. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm just running around exterminating things here. I actually prefer these throwing knives just because they're a bit more powerful than my standard weaponry. Yeah, I think that other thing has a bit more of a range attack. Hmm. Let's take this lot I out. really want to play as that neon-y, glowy pink one. Yeah, it does look very, very good. And the, the, there is such a great visual variety. Some of them have, like, long, flowy bits of, uh, 
cloth on them, and they just look, the way the way they look and the way they move is brilliant. Ooh, snow. Yeah, the, there's such a variety to the environment. It's really great fun. I want to just get rid of the rest of these. Go away. And the, you can get headshots on stuff, and that that kills it much faster. There's like a little stats screen at the end of the level, and if you get more headshots, that's more points for you. And the, it translates into real rewards, which are usually uh, some of those crafting ingredients for use on those um, weapons that you can make. Let's actually try and follow my marker. But you can see how fast I can move through the levels. Ooh, glowy. Yeah, look at that. It is a pretty level, actually. Like it started off a little grim, and it just sort of opened up nicely. Yeah, that was that. I like that in level design when you start off with something kind of a little bit grim and industrial, but then it starts to open up and you start to see more and like more beautiful things start to come around. Yeah, I, I found a lot of things like that in The Witcher Wild, the Wild Hunt. Yeah, one, um, where the level like it wasn't really a level, was it? It was like a no. whole world design, but the world design in that was very clever in that you got. Uh, this nice mix of environments, mm. and uh, oh this is just the same. It's really nice mixture. Yeah, like it, it shows its strengths in the engine really well. Yeah, and it's not it's not completely perfect. Like I do have really just one complaint about it, and that is that there are levels like what you just saw where you go through and it's complete, and then you leave, and then there are levels where you will go into them and it'll be something like you have to defend a certain point because there's like a massive generator there that does something really cool or you'll have to defend these mineral extractors which um, will require extra power occasionally but those missions don't end but they basically end when you get overwhelmed and decide to leave and they can run for ages especially if you miss the chance to go go away and um, I, I struggle with those. Yeah, you got trapped in one earlier, didn't you? And yeah, you... yeah well, I, I, I played that spy mission with someone, um, and without my knowing, uh, there was a setting in the game that just automatically parted me up with them. So they went into another mission, and sort of while they did that, I went down here and started having a look through the warframes, and then suddenly it cut to a loading screen, and I was tossed into this mission, and there was no sort of finishing it as I could, far as I could tell and uh, we needed to get this recording done. Yeah, and it is kind of uh, late at night now. Mm. Well, early in the morning, rather. I don't even know what time it is. Do you want to run through some of the different Warframes? Have a quick look. I, I want to show you this, right? I can oh. change what colour Oh, is. yes, this is something I was really interested in. Mm. It seems you've got some of them locked off. I don't know whether you, do you have to uh, buy them to unlock them. Or? Yeah, okay. Okay, that's not so bad though. I mean, you get plenty of choice. Yeah. What colour do I want to change to? I'm going to go to like a... I would probably actually buy a little bit of the currency in this because I love the customization stuff. Yeah, like the, there is an awful lot. Like if I click random colours until... Ooh, that's quite good. Oh, no, I don't like yellow and blue. Okay. Ooh. Well, the teal one was quite... <laughs> that was... Oh, you, you clicked. It looked like Iron Man. Oh, yeah. Let's see what else we get. But like, you can you can randomise these, um, or you can actively select them. You can change um, different parts of the skin. They get a bit expensive. Yeah, they do. Um, but the, the these are things that are like you have to really care about your aesthetics, and that's literally the only thing the developers make money on. Yeah, I mean, I suppose it's not the end of the world, but. Um... Mm. I do have a bit of a problem with them being that expensive. Yeah. I suppose, but uh, who knows? Maybe uh, maybe things will get a little cheaper at some point. Don't know. Yeah. Probably not. No, probably not. But uh, if I go equip, I can actually show you some more of these. Uh, and they they come with like little descriptions here how they actually work and they all have different special abilities so Excalibur is just stabby it's just stabbing enemies in the face is what I've chosen with mine you look a little bit like a sort of a really skinny rhino yeah or like one of those horn beetle things there is a rhino skin here we go what's this one a heaviest warframe providing offensive and defensive capabilities oh there's that one I like Octavia I like yeah. that one this is the one I am in love with yeah, and with good reason, it is very pretty. Look at that. 
It does look little really little nice. Sort of like hologram discs spinning out there. Her there's, legs make no sense whatsoever. Yeah, there's this one which looks like it look it looks like a lady pimp. What? It, it, it's what it looks like to me. It's like it, a, the it fur, kind of, fur coat thing going on there. No, I, I was, I'm more focused on the sort of squishy, fleshy thing on her leg. It looks like she has some weird things growing on her. Yeah, it's some weird. of them can look a bit grim. Uh, where's that one that I saw earlier that was uh, really... It sort of like looked all fleshy and weird. Uh, Nidus, here we go. This is a particularly sort of fleshy looking Ooh, one. Oh god, he's got a bit of a pouch going on yeah, there. Like a bit yeah, of a like, posing pouch. Like cod pieces of the order of the day. Like if I pick this I one, mean, I'm betting a, there's a cod piece. I don't have a problem, no. There's just a flap. Ah, uh, that's no fun. I don't have a problem with cod pieces. I find it really amusing and I just imagine that... Oh, this uh, one's never a cod piece. I just keep imagining some sort of weird little mini game where you throw rings on them or something. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. It's a ring toss game. But, Ooh, but that, that one's one. pretty awesome. Though. Yeah, and, but they, they just vary so visually and you can change all the colours on these. These are all linked to what I showed you before. So there's an awful lot of variety. There's modifications that you can apply which change the balancing on them. If, if you care for it, there's a lot of complexity for you to really get your teeth into. And if you don't care for it, it's a skill-based game and you can just go so far as being like picking the stuff that you like the look of and playing with it. Because the longer you play with it, the more powerful it gets and you get better that way. So the, it's, it's really got something for all players. And I really thoroughly recommend that you either download it on your PC or your PlayStation 4 and give it a go. Because there's a huge community for this. There's lots to explore, lots of different it, things to and play. And it seems like it's getting updated quite frequently now. Yeah, the so developers really lots, care about this one. There's going to be lots of new stuff to see in the future, we imagine. Mm. But uh, that has been Warframe. So thank you guys ever so much for watching. Uh, if you want to hit that subscribe button, we do release new videos every Thursday and every Sunday. Like, we're up at 2 in the morning on Sunday morning to be I'm, able to get this done. I am literally going to go to bed the second you stop recording. <laughs> I know, right? Bless you. Poor Karma's been, like, nod nodding off until we got to record this. But, uh, that's, that's the end of the video for today, guys. If you can hit that like button, it'll really help our channel out. We really want to be able to do more of this. And thank you guys for watching. We shall see you next time. Bye. Good night.